to a former deputy accused of posing as a drug agent. Tonight, just hours after bonding out of jail, the man accused of masterminding the two-year scheme talks to News 6. News 6 reporter Justin Warmouth has been following the story and joins us now live in Seminole County. So, Justin, what did that suspect tell you? Well, Lisa, he says he's innocent, claiming he had absolutely nothing to do with this fake drug agent scheme. However, this 44-page document we pulled from the courthouse here this afternoon paints a much different story. This is the phony DEA badge officials say Don Wheeler and Michael Main used over the course of two years. That's Wheeler's picture, and right underneath, a bogus name. Donald Wayland. According to documents, Wheeler, who was a former Seminole County Sheriff's deputy, posed as the agent while Maine created the counterfeit badge. How you doing, sir? Just hours after bonding out of jail, we caught up with Maine, who denies any involvement. I do believe that, the, that as we wind our way through the court system on this, um, that the truth will come to light, all of the truth. However, federal agents say Maine was the mastermind. According to documents, the 46-year-old is in the middle of a custody battle with his estranged wife. So in an effort to stop the divorce from happening, officials say he had Wheeler, a buddy of his, pose as the agent. Over the course of several months, documents show Wheeler then called several associates of Maine's wife, claiming she was involved in drug trafficking. Those associates thought it was weird and called DEA's Orlando branch who didn't have any agents by the false name the two allegedly gave. Uh, I dealt with this situation last night, uh, but I really don't. They haven't really given me the particulars of the details. I know what the charges are that have been have been filed. Uh, above and beyond that, I can't tell you. Um, you know the particulars. I haven't even had a court appearance. And that former deputy, Don Wheeler, resigned from the sheriff's office in 2008 for apparently sleeping on the job. Both men fa face up to 30 years in prison if convicted. Lisa. All right, Justin Warmouth reporting live tonight. Thank you.